First, switch on the plug of the hot plate. Next is, adjust the hot plate heating power to a suitable heat temperature to boil the water in the beaker. After doing so, insert a thermometer into the water to heat water at rate of 1 degree Celsius per minute. However, the thermometer should not touch the wall of beaker. It also should not be placed on the surface of water. The correct way is to dip the thermometer into water without letting it touch the bottom of the beaker. Then, a 1cm length of fat in capillary tube has been prepared and is taken out from the refrigerator when the water has boiled and ready for the next step. Tongs have been used to hold both thermometer and capillary tube in the hot water. The capillary tube filled with 1cm length of fat has been submerged into hot boiling water. Temperature when fat starts to slip out of tube and the final temperature when all fat has slipped out of the tube has been recorded. In the end, we are able to obtain the melting range temperature of fat. Prepare the samples. Turn on the refractive index switch and open the secondary prism. Clean wisely the main and secondary prism surfaces by using tissue. Place 2 to 3 drops fresh oil at the center of the main prism by using a dropper. Close the secondary prism with caution and lock properly. Look through the eyepiece. While looking through eyepiece, turn the measurement knob slowly until the boundary line can be observed in your view. Record the refractive index. Clean the main and secondary prism surfaces after the refractive index of fresh oil has been measured. Repeat the previous steps by using used oil samples. Place 2 to 3 drops used oil at the center of the main prism by using a dropper. Close the secondary prism with caution and lock properly. Look through the eyepiece. While looking through eyepiece, turn the measurement knob slowly until the boundary line can be observed in your view. Record the refractive index. After the refractive index of used oil has been measured, open the secondary prism. Clean the main and secondary prism surfaces by using tissue. Close the secondary prism and lock properly. Turn off the switch. As for the determination of specific gravity, the first step is to weigh an empty SG bottle. Next, fill the SG bottle with oil or melted fat. Close the bottle with a stopper which has a capillary board. After that, 
cool at 7 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. After 24 hours, warm the SG bottle at 25 degrees Celsius or room temperature until expansion has ceased. Then, wipe and clean the bottle on the outside. Last but not least, weigh the SG bottle. Then, calculate the specific gravity of the oil or fats. First, weigh the sample into a dry and clean flask. Add 25 ml of wish solution. Then, add 25 ml of cyclohexane. The function of cyclohexane is to dissolve the oil. After that, mix both solution, cyclohexane and wish solution into the flask. Next, wrap the flask with aluminium foil. After that, put the flask at a dark place for 1 hour. In meantime, measure 20 ml of 15% potassium iodide solution and 100 ml of distilled water. After 1 hour, Add both solutions, potassium iodide and distilled water into the flask. Add 0.1 molar of sodium thiosulfate for the titration process. Titrate 0.1 molar sodium thiosulfate until the yellow color disappears due to the iodine. There was some error occurred during the experiment, therefore the yellow color of solution is supposed to be is based on the video. Add 1 ml of starch and continue the titration until the blue color disappears after the very vigorous shaking. Due to error, the current result is shown on the right side of this video where the blue color is observed. 